I feel that people like us, Chinese American like us, have an obligation to let Americans know the evil of the communism. <laughs> Might remember back in May and September of this year. Yeah, yeah. The U.S. Customs and the Border Protection. Okay. Yeah, had a press uh, had a quite quite a few press release about how they seized fake IDs, mm -hmm. United States IDs. Yeah. Yeah, which driver's was license, driver's license shipped from China. Yeah. Okay. So you know, one at one time in September, it's about uh, twenty thousand. Of them, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, so they caught it in like Chicago and uh, at um, Cincinnati, you know, Massachusetts. So uh, this is one, you know, news which was related to the story I was mm -hmm. cover. I'm covering, and uh, then the other thing is, uh, if you also, you may not or may not remember, President Trump actually tweeted back in June. Saying um, the 2020 election is going to be rigged. Millions of mail-in ballots will be printed by foreign countries and others. It will be the scandal of our time. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at that time, actually, um, Department of Justice Secretary of uh, DOJ, um, Mr. William Barr, actually concurred. He uh, told Fox, saying, "Right now, foreign countries could print." Could bring up tens of thousands of counterfeited uh, ballots, mm -hmm. and will be very hard for us to detect. Yeah. Blah blah blah. So this is another piece of news that, of course, like AP and all the other media, just uh, you know, um, saying you know, doing the did the fact check, mm. saying experts said that's nonsense. Mm -hmm. What President mm -hmm. Trump said was nonsense. Okay. okay. Then just a week ago, there was a video. Just spreading around uh, the v the internet, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know how many people watched it, but uh, that was a phone call, a, a phone conversation between uh, potentially a customer with a factory in uh, back in China, mm -hmm. in the southern part of China, Guang, Guang Canton, Canton Province. Yeah. So that was about ordering some uh, United States election ballots. Mm -hmm. So I will just play it here for the people who haven't seen it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. That is not the light. It's not the light. 你是USBALA的印刷 国际可以吗？我看一下，国际好像是也是走物流啊。可呃，可以走是吧？我这边你这边费用的话，多多少钱打印一张？我这边现在叫人给你转。呃，那个跟上次一样啊。OK OK， 好好好，好，我知道了。你再把二维码发我一遍，谢谢。呃呃，然后那个还还欠一点那个。啊，知道。OK好好好。嗯，OK。OK，so okay, 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 the last uh, you know the last picture actually you are looking at right now is the picture picture I, that I obtained from this interviewee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the in, the person, you know, the uh, so-called customer in this phone conversation is the person I just interviewed mm. this afternoon. Okay. So he's going to take, you know, he told uh, me about all the stories about how this conversation came from and uh, how did God, he, he got this video. The video was actually from China, the factory, which you know, claim they can print. Mm. In case, in the, in the 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 you mean the video was sh was shot in China? Shot in China and the sent, in uh, sent to him. Um, but uh, the audio was from his phone conversation. Okay. So one Taiwan media put them together. Mm. So that's the explanation. I see. Yeah, because people see. were wondering how, yeah. you know. It looked like the happened. video is like a, on, a, on the caller, right? On, mm -hmm. on the caller from, from, the, from the US. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, as we, we do see those... Um, 
you know, such, such a thick, you know, this thick. Yeah, ballot, piles US of ballot. The file, piles of ballots. You know, who got this other than the, you know, county officials or state officials? Yeah, so, um, and the, this this person really have inter interesting story to tell. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of time today, but uh, we wanted to, uh, I just want to bring this uh, uh, update and uh, let you know uh, we probably will bring you more story about this interviewee uh, tomorrow.